I wanted to control light switches with my iPhone, so I bought one of these iHome Wi-Fi wall plugs. It costs about $40 each. Uh, it would be nice to do it a little cheaper than that. So there are a few um, tutorials out there on how to install HomeKit on your Raspberry Pi. I gave it a try. It's a little complicated and a little overkill for just turning on light switches. So I found this on YouTube. I've ordered a sawn off module, but it takes about a month for it to arrive. So in the meantime, I was wondering, could I install that software on a Wemos? Because the internals are pretty much the same. Um, so what you do is you go to grab the software from that link and then what you do is you run this command that tells you what your um, where your USB what your USB lineup code is right there and then you paste that into that top part right there and then when you run that you flash it And when that's done, you, your Wemos will reboot. There will be a Sonoff SSID. You tap on that, enter your uh, password, and then your Wemos is connected to your network. Go over to your phone and run the iHome app, and then hit the plus button. Add accessory. I don't have something, and then you'll see that up here. Click on that. Add anyways. Enter a bunch of ones. And then wait a few minutes. We'll call that Wemos. So if I toggle that, I put um, a little tiny LED on D6. So I've got to go off and on now. So now if I turn off, boom. Hey Siri, turn on the Wemos. Hey Siri, turn off the Wemos. Okay, the Wemos is off. So what you'll do, if you um, want to, you can connect a that D6. Instead of going to the LED, you could connect it through a MOSFET or a transistor to a relay. And then you can control probably multiple devices for next to nothing instead of paying $40 for one of these. Thanks for watching. Bye.